cool. All right, so three, two, one. Welcome to the EDH Lounge. We have a special lounge this week. It is Elder Dragon, M19 Dragon. So excited and also... It's been a long time since we've done the lounge, so I'm really excited to get back in here and be playing with everybody. My name is Jolt, and I will be playing Arcades, the wall builder. I have a golf cart that Mudsta has been staring down. I'm going to build a wall around that golf cart so <laughs> Mudsta cannot. So he can't drive it anymore. Mudsta, what do you play? I'm, uh, I'm playing Chromium. He's, uh, he's a dragon, but he's, he's really into fitness. And uh, <laughs> most of them are used to flying, but he's trying to kick it up a little bit differently. He wants to get into cycling. And he's a bit, he's a bit, he's a bit mad about cycling. So there's a, a bit of a theme involved ah, with that. Okay, I think I might be able to pick up on that. What's going on with that? Uh, PJ, what are you playing, man? Uh, I got Vivictus Asmati the Dyer, and my plan today is to jund you guys out. Just a lot of removal and a lot of value. And there's nothing wrong with that. That sounds. Can't wait to get Arcadia blown up. And then Eli, <laughs> what are you playing, man? I'm playing Nikki B, the Ravager, and I will be attempting to Brixis Deep Sixes the opposition. Is oh. is Nikki B related to Cardi B at all? <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I, I would like that somehow that family line to be shown, but uh, but also just a quick reminder before we jump into the video, we are all recording from our own perspective. Mutsta on his channel, PJ at Commander Replay, and Eli at Cardboard Confrontation. So let's have some fun. Good luck. How strange would it be if we recorded from each other's perspectives? <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll get like we'll get some like uh, remote access to record through each other's computers. Yeah, the hoops we'd have to jump through for that. Oh my goodness! All right, turn one. Let's get this thing going. Uh, if you if you mana crypt turn one, I'm coming for you. He's yeah, like, man, this hand is all mana rocks. It's gonna oh. be uh, Elvis spirit. Oh, I forget that's legal. Dang it. <laughs> I always forget that. Oh well. Too late now. Elvish spirit and like, what was it? Simic spirit guide or not Simic spirit guide? Yeah, the Simeon, uh, spirit. Simeon spirit guide. There we go. Yeah. He's like, I got five men on turn one. All right, pass the turn. That's cool. I'll cast, I'll cast my commander. It's like Lotus Petal, Soul Rig, all that kind of stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I, st I still have nightmares from that, that Atali turn one. Oh, yeah. It's just, yeah, like, that's... just like, whoa. That's gross. Yeah, no, because I think someone blew up a mana rock, and then uh, I still got it down on turn two. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, just even just holding him back for a second. It's just like, okay. Uh, as we found out, though, that deck does nothing without a tolly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There we go. I'm, when I play three colored, I'm always worried I'm going to grab the wrong land, and I'm just going to cut myself off. Like, even though I have the mana base in my hand, I'm always worried that, like, I'm going to cut myself off any sort of color that I need. Yeah, you always got to double check all your color situation. I'm excited to see this uh, this chrome. Oh, man. Ow. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm it's a land. It. I like that art so much better. Than Me the too. <laughs> I was so happy when they printed it as the Battle Bond. Oh, my goodness. I was so excited. So excited. They reprinted it? <laughs> yeah, it's in Battle Bond, yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, leg it's mythic. Sorry, not legendary. <laughs> Fire off the old divining top. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that guy is uh, on the original lane tax. He's real creepy looking. A little bit weird. I don't. I don't like the cut of his jib. He's uh, makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I just love there's a certain card where you're just like, I just, I, I can't like morally run this card. I don't know. I, just I don't. I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make me sad. Oh, thanks, thanks for playing the land there, PJ. I uh, I appreciate it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Let's just I figure the getting... alternative of not playing a land isn't going to help any. So. Yeah. Let's just all get into a holding pattern. They're just not making more land drops. <laughs> Cut off that land attack. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, such so, no one elected to play there. Palladium Ores? I thought about it because I had no idea what to do with Chromium, but then I was like, even with no idea, I still feel like Chromium's better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me see. I didn't realize this at first, because I actually messed this up the first time I played it, is that once you do damage at all, it yeah. loses hexproof yeah. for like, you know, the rest of the game as long as it stays in play. Yeah, you have to flicker it, basically, which is just counterintuitive to what you want to do. Right. I uh, For some reason, I thought it was like a until end of turn kind of thing, even yeah. though it doesn't say that, but I thought it would like work that way, and no. that's no. not how it played. It's very... Uh, I thought about... Odd. Good. Yeah, it's. 
I don't know. Like I saw that and I remember thinking I was really excited, you know, cause I think they released Arcades the first time or something like that. And then, um, I saw it. Yeah. It was just like, Oh, all right. Cool. Your white border is worse than mine. I, I know. <laughs> I want you to know that. It is. Uh, it's just like, like I love ninth edition. There's only one white border in here and that that's it. It's tilting. It is. But oh yeah, with the uh I thought about going Naya. It was kind of like a surprise, but I just remember thinking like, man, there's just so much I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess you can go Naya Enchantress. I have thought about build I need to build it, but like Naya control. That'd be a fun thing to go for. But even then, there's probably some so better you commanders that, you could use. I thought about doing like uh, draft combat spells. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Using like every yeah. giant growth type of effect that they've ever printed. <laughs> and then I realized that it's just not that good. I'm just going to get blown out by a Swords of the Plowshares at some point. Yep. Oh, what what happened, man? I, I got hit. I, was, I can't remember what game it was. I was recording. I got hit with... Um... What is that? I'm talking about combat spells. Oh, it's the one with Mutagenic Growth. Oh yeah, I, the I got hit with life? mutagenic growth in an in like in an Agila deck, <laughs> and like oh. I was just like, oh my god, like it just like blew out my combat step, and I was like, okay, <laughs> and then oh that's what it was. I was playing Scare of God, and they also got down rest in peace like the next turn too. I was like, God man, so whenever they uh, <laughs> just your opponent has everything. PJ, you're stealing have you guys my played Agila yet? What'd you say, Eli? You're stealing my Bolas lands. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Najil at all. Uh, it is the most broken thing imaginable. Yeah, she's pretty nasty. It's, it's a pretty hard deck to play against. It's, I mean, it's like, you, like I almost kind of discount that token effect coming in, and the next thing you know, your life total's down to like two. You're like, ah, oh, crap. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm notorious for just like sitting back and just like, ah, oh, it's okay. My life total doesn't matter, and then it's really hard against her to do that. I've played it twice. I killed the table on turn six, and I've killed the table on turn five. Gross. And Gross. everyone that's commented on the video says pretty much the same thing. You just kill the table in five turns. That's yeah. You need to keep Najila out of play. It is yeah. insane. Those tokens really add up. Well, that there's like a handful of ways to go infinite with it. I think like Crypto oh. Right and the Revy and a handful of others. Yeah. And oh, like Sword of Feast and Famine. Too, sort of right? yeah. famine, nature's will, and the heb, that sort of stuff. Like, you... yeah, it's pretty nasty. Well, I guess not in the heb, not in the heb. No, no. but there's there's ways. There's there's yeah. shenanigans. Oh my! God. <laughs> I almost clicked on this one. I mean, I could have cast it, but it's, it's just been not good. There you go. Boots. <clears throat> We're going to throw the boots on the gate creeper, dude. It took me so long to realize that in gate creeper vine, that's like a bush person or like a. <laughs> I, I just thought it was no, just yeah. bush person. That's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna swing in at mud stuff. No. Hit you for zero. Speaking of bush people, I'm going to see the band Bush in a couple weeks. Cool. Oh, nice cool. man. Yeah. Uh, they're playing in San Antonio with a bunch of people. I can't remember uh, who. I think Nine Inch Nails is the other band. That's gonna be a sweet show. But uh, I'm excited about all that remains because they're playing too. Which they totally don't fit the rest of that bill. I don't know like why they got invited, but whatever oh i didn't realize this says uh i'm looking it up right now so bush was uh is formed in england yeah, 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 yeah. english band do they reform or they just never broke up they, just, they took a hiatus <clears throat> bush is like my main karaoke jams though okay <laughs> that's an archfiend of ifner Arch, uh, archfiend of ifner what are you doing let's I'm... stop I'm, this is turn three. I want everyone to get it. Get get some. Uh, what's what's the thing? Where you're in a room and you're like riding a bicycle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this this description is just not great. But ah, uh, I mean spinning. Spinning. There we go. I'm trying yeah. to t I'm trying to get everyone into spinning. <laughs> wow, that was that took a long time. Holy cow. <laughs> Mouth, mouth, no words. Mouth, 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 no good work. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, talk yes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, crack the, crack the windswept these. 
We're gonna leave it up to PJ and Eli to take care of that. Yeah, you're gonna have to translate from from my broken brain. Not with this the one. magic has finally consumed the mudstead. It's just taken them. The goblin. The goblin speaks through me. <laughs> the inner core goblin. The gerblin. The gerber. Ugh, I don't like that. It's just a Sidisi. I can't do anything about it. I don't like it, though. It's just, it's just a Sidisi. It's just a tutor on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> it's never caused problems before. No, not at all. Said no one ever. You should have... Next level of play would have been getting rid of Sidisi. I just left that Wood Elves out there. Yeah, the Wood Elves <laughs> is, is doing you more work anyway. <laughs> Next level like, nope. misclicking. Don't misclick. Don't misclick. <laughs> no! That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do I, how do I stop? What's a combo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to play a recurring nightmare one v one, which is Ooh. fantastic. Oh. Fantastic with Sidisi. Yup. Yup. Hey, is that, do you is like that on for... one versus one? <laughs> I think so. I think it is. Yeah. That's, that recurring nightmare is legal in one versus one. Yeah. Oh, that seems <laughs> like, like everything's mistake. legal in one versus one. It's so it's weird. Yeah. Like, it's like the wild wild west, man. I mean, now yeah. they've added, they've added the fast mana. They've added the tutors. I mean, it's fun. Yeah. I love it. I mean, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do you want to play stupid cards? You got it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish it is just kind of like, you know, I could see them getting rid of fast mana. I think that would be mm -hmm. good if they got yeah. rid of that and they left the tutors in there. I think that's perfect because you know, part of the appeal of playing Magic is having fun with powerful cards. And so, um, but getting rid of that fast man, I think that would work. Let me get this down. Okay. Is this what I want to tap out for? No. I just, uh, I forgot to tell you this is a goblin build of Arcades. Hmm. What? <laughs> Lots of blue goblins, I'm aware. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm going to try and do another theme game with goblins as commander. So I think we got the black red ward, the green red ward. Cranko and Mizix. Ooh. But I don't know. Mizzix it's going to be. A goblin? Mizzix is a goblin. No kidding. Yeah. Let's see. I've never played Mizzix, so I wouldn't know that. It's super combo. It's. it's yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> where, where's that going? It's not going to you, I promise. I'm, I'm perfectly honest to everybody at the table. I'm not All swinging right. to anybody at this All point. All right. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right, here you go, Mudsta. You ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a flying blocker, man. What are you worried about? Everything. <laughs> He's worried about the English language at this point. Speaking. <laughs> Speaking. <laughs> uh, Eli, you mentioned you've been playing pre-modern. Is that right? Uh, yep. Yeah. How, how, how's that going? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's like my old uh, stomping ground for standard. I used to play a lot of constructed uh, magic in tournaments. Okay. What's the what's the set range on that format? It's right in between old school and uh, modern. So okay. from fourth edition and like Ice Age up to the end of Onslaught book. That's not bad. Nice. It's pretty cool. What um, do you have any certain like? I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's some sort of meta developed, but do you have any certain decks that? I mean, is there tier decks so far in the format, or is it kind of pretty much wide open for whatever you want to do? Uh, it's, it's fairly wide open. Okay. Maybe it's probably a little more slanted towards control, since, you know, this is back when creatures were worse and control cards were much better. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say five color control is probably one of the best decks in the format. PJ, I want okay. to blow up your top. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so badly. Uh, I mean, I will probably, like, F6 accidentally if you try to shoot it, so... Good. We're going to make that happen. Oh, um, dude, I had Tri-Builder on the battlefield, and I hit F6 just to do commentary, and then they hit it with an abrupt <laughs> decay, and I was so... <laughs> I was so mad. I it was almost they, like they knew... <laughs> they probably were like, what, what just happened? F6. What just happened? Why yes. is it... <laughs> just, if, if you want to get the, the wind knocked out of you, just... Uh, 
Just yep. F6 to a removal <laughs> on yep. secure tribe elder, and that <laughs> yep. that'll do it. Why were they removing that? That's weird. Savage. I, honestly, I, I think they just knew that I was on F6, like auto yield, and they're like, oh, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I see an opportunity. I've done that before. In I'll check this. Every once in a while, I'll check to see if a blue player is holding up priority during my turn. Mm -hmm. uh, if I can get a, something through a counter spell or not. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it's always fun. You can kind of sneak that in through Magic Online. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it was one of those. I was like, I, I bet that's what they did. They're just like, right, I'm going to catch them snoozing real quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who's no! Mr. C, your girl. No, desertion. <laughs> oh, it needed that land. That, that's pretty sweet. I like that. <laughs> Apparently, Eli needed it more. <laughs> desertion. I was hoping you'd catch oh, him here, but that never happened. Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, whenever I play Aurelia, the player with Desertion just sits there with five mana open, just yep. <laughs> until yep. Aurelia waiting, comes out. waiting for it. Yep, just bring it. <laughs> that's wait. a that's an awfully nice command you got over there. I'd hate for something to happen yeah, to it. Much. Be a shame if something happened. If it quit obeying you anymore, it deserted you. Man, I, I'm so excited for Ravnica. No, I just I want the like. I thought we were gonna get another set from Dominaria, but someone told me that it's only the one. Yeah, I think what had happened on that was M nineteen was kind of Dominaria and other stuff. Oh. I think what had happened is it was set up to be like that whenever they designed it. I could be wrong on this, so if I am in the comments, you know, hey, it is what it is. But um, what if I what I remember reading is that actually let me do the, my turn real quick. Uh, let's see. No, talk and do it at the same time. No, talk and do it. You have to. So we get that down. I've seen you. I've seen your videos. You can do both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll do that. Let's go for this. Actually, yeah. I shuffled away my ancient tomb in one of those fetches that I cracked. That's that sad. Case. I can oh man, it is so every time I see Ancient Tomb I just like smile. I'm like, I miss you so bad. That's a, yeah, that's a then sometimes it's a big you just, booty like, wall. hide your own ancient tomb because you do like twenty to yourself. It feels good though. <laughs> sometimes you gotta Oh, can I desertion that? <laughs> <laughs> this is where I should have put Toper Orb in the deck. Now now I realize a card. You don't yeah. no, you don't need Toper Orb. No, no, of course not. I'm thinking about building Torpor Orb dot deck and yep. just doing like all the bad EPP stuff. It it messes with so many decks. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it can shut some stuff down. Every green player. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, you like oh, doing stuff? Nope. nope. <laughs> oh, with the Dominaria set. So um, I think what it was is that's when they decided they want to go back. What they wanted to go back to the core set. Hmm. And so that's why they kind of we have some of these Elder Dragons in M19. I think that's what it right. is. Long story short, they just wanted to go back into the uh, corset, you know, cycle or whatever, and that's why it kind of got like half a dominaria thing, which is right, still kind of right, weird right. to kind of see that. But but I'm excited about Ravnica. I'm like, you know, I'm always excited for new cards to come out. But that was the first set I got into, or at least like modern Magic I got into, and I don't know. I'm really excited to see what they uh, redo with it. It's Coming at you, PJ. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, I got nothing for that. You can fire up that whiteboard of wrath now? No. <laughs> I'm just not going to cast it out of spite. I don't like it. It offends me. Oh, just so I happened to discard a card. It's almost like I planned that, but I didn't. <laughs> That's, uh, somebody needs to get rid of that thing. Getting smaller. Actually, I just realized if I had land tax for all three, I could have discarded all three. Hmm. Whoops. Yeah, that's almost like... <laughs> those those value plays. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take you a minute to get down Wall of Denial, though. Yeah, I got, I got a while. I got a while to go. <laughs> Paul's like, nope. <laughs> yeah, 
seven is still a, a hefty hit. It is. It's one with nothing. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to see a, a, a Mishin the Mine Cage? Ooh. I feel like that's a yes. Who? From uh, Arcades? That's, uh, a, that's a super strong card in Arcades. It is. Was it Spike and Paper after Arcades came out? It did indeed. I think I saw it in one of the on the Goldfish website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of stuff like Enchanted Evening is like thirty five dollars now. Oh man! Just, just yeah, like but so you should you should totally play around that card. I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> There's no way I would run that in my in my Arcades deck. Mm -mm. <laughs> As I type it into Gather to see what it was. I feel like if a creature has a negative power, they should give me life back. Yeah, I've always thought that. That, that would like be they really... give me a little, give me a little like hug. <laughs> Look at this vent lock coming down. Okay. All right, it made it. No desertions. <laughs> <laughs> He's loyal. You're sitting at, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, five total mana. Okay. The propaganda's gonna. You shouldn't have played that, Mazda. Why? <laughs> I thought we were, we were gonna have a free, like, and fair trade between our border walls and stuff. So I run, like, three creatures, one of which is on the board right now. <laughs> I don't have a lot of defenders. <laughs> yep, super painful, but. No attacks. It was, it was nice. I was excited about this lounge to record uh, all these dragons because I know last time we did... Um, what, what was the last lounge we even did? Was... You guys did one without me, I thought. Yeah, was it... You did one after that, though. Did I? Yeah, I think, I think we did one more. Was it tribal? I think it was a tribal. Yeah, it was when I played oh, Karn yeah, yeah, Golems. Tribal. It was the weird tribal ones. Yes, okay. And then, like, the power level of that was a fun power level, but not, yeah. like, over and overpowered. And so, um, uh, it's one of my favorite new cards. Oh yes, man. But, yeah. um, is excited to have powerful decks that can actually have answers to stuff <laughs> <laughs> and not like 30 samurai in a deck. Yeah. How, how dare you, sir? You took samurai very loosely too. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not like, uh, I, I guess so. I don't know how, but I missed like every two and three drop in my deck when I played knights. Like, yeah, which are most of the creatures. Yeah, I was about to say that's the, that's the sweet spot right there. Yeah, I know. Like, I didn't catch any of them, and I'm just like, is this even a knight deck? I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay. Counterspell? Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, we knew it. We knew it was there. Oh, I just love just always has it. Uh, yeah. Come on, Eli. You got a counter in there. You got seven cards. No, there's no counter. Okay. Whew. Oh, Eli, you let me down. You I trusted you. You're supposed to counter it. I don't got you counters. What are you doing over there? I got cycle cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw a counter spell after so much. It's going to be. Here it comes. I one love, one time. <laughs> Musta has like uh, three open blue mana. Come on. I don't have counter spells. <laughs> Why would that? you expect that out of me? It's awful. That's okay. I can, I can live with that. It's fine. I'll allow it. <laughs> with all of my counter spells. Yeah. yeah. The must uh, just to bluff it now. <laughs> Finally, just oh, yep. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Thought about it, but it's fine. Not, not, it's fine. not now. I was playing a game the other day, and it was like, you know, I was holding my breath. It was super late in the game, 
And I'm like, all right, turn 13, dark steel ingot, no big deal. <laughs> no problem. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Right on time. Ugh. Discard. Uh, yeah. This would be I'll great if the arc chain was still in the field. Oh, you're, you know what? You're right, Mudstow. That's yeah. a bummer. He's in the yeah. graveyard, isn't he? Well, yeah. that's, that stinks. Thanks, Eli. That's no fun for anybody involved. I think we need to soft ban heroic intervention. <laughs> <laughs> we could just also not play with Jolt. That would also solve the problem. That, that would cut it off right there. <laughs> All right. Let's start playing yeah. better removal. He's going to play Final mm -hmm. Judgment. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I wish that card uh, exiled from graveyards too. Which one? Final judgment. Oh, that'd be filthy. <laughs> Make it really final. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go. Wow. Your uh your arch fiend just pumped up that wall. Uh I'm gonna pay I, <laughs> I hate that propaganda. <laughs> you got it. It's gonna cost you man. I'm not this I'm not giving this out for free. Okay, there we go. I was gonna swing in for one, I was like, no, I'm not paying two mana for one damage. <laughs> Why not? Good return on investment. <laughs> yeah. No blocks. Okay, let's do this. Axe Bane Guardian. That's not good. Nothing oh, to see man. here. Just a regular, just a generic defender. It's fine. It's fine. All right, there we go. Oh, he's got three man open with a weight. That means it's a fairy's protection. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> um... <laughs> Enjoy your no life. <laughs> Counterspell battle? Well, yeah, that'll do it. Doesn't need a counterspell. Getting some, getting some value. Some incremental value. Just real slowly grinding it out. Yeah, I realized uh, when I played that deck, you have to protect Arcades. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. He shuts down it. without with the deck. Just doesn't happen without him. Yeah, it does nothing without Arcades in play. <laughs> play for the party. I, uh, I was building, I built the paper version of my Worm Tribal deck the other day, and uh -huh. mm -hmm. was very sad to find out that Asceticism is like a $20 card. Yeah, it's gone up there. Really? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. I opened a ton of Scars of Mirrodin because I was drafting a lot then, and I uh -huh. somehow have, like, none of the cool cards from it. That was my first set that I really played. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was. Uh, I, had, I have a lot of the stuff. We actually uh, we opened a lot of new Phyrexia, and like we dumped oh, so nice. many Karns because no one was playing Karn at that time. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, new Phyrexia. That was a money maker of a set. Mm -hmm. It was I fun. Think the one I drafted most of was Ravnica. I have like so many just guild cards. Nice. It's Original or the second, the return trip? The second one. Because, uh, like, I got in during Mirage, but um, I never learned how to, like, pr play properly. This card offends uh, me. Kaboom! There you go. Oh, can't believe Mudsta's running a white-bordered land. In what his, what his kind deck. of monster would give me a white-bordered card in a black-bordered deck? <laughs> Look at that. Look how just... That is so just... Uh, it's how long have you so, been playing Magic? Aesthetically so unpleasing, I just, I want to concede at this point. Do you just even care about the game <laughs> at all? No. I mean, nope. just no respect for the game? No. 
<laughs> that felt good though. They, no Teferi's protection. I'm that dead. Would, I'm dead really inside. Nice, though Eli, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you have it in your hand. Don't. don't you can't deceive us. Yeah. Don't. Don't bluff it. Oh. Now, I, I, to be honest, I forgot what it does. Is that the one where it's like a combat trick? Where you get yes. Like plus one. Plus one. Yes. It's uh. Okay. It's inspiring call. <laughs> Yeah, no, I didn't run it because we, I didn't want to run a combat trick in here, so it's not in the deck. So. Okay, so now I, I know for sure it's in your hand now. <laughs> yeah, it's not in the deck because it's in his hand. He's not lying. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we got five Victus. Now, can you imagine if a PJ had uh, like crossroads yeah, on the battlefield? Had what on the battlefield? Crossroads, like uh, whatever the... Uh, Concordant crossroads. Yes, yeah. dude. With that savage vent mall just coming across. Yeah, yeah, that would have been an owie. Mana, that's for sure. And then assault mod or aggravated assault for infinite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's always hard to get seven fit mall online, but when you do, oh man, that feels so good. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm still trying to figure out like if it's really worth running it in decks. Like, it's. It seems like I play it so much, and then it just gets dies in a board wipe or hits gets removal or yeah, something. Yeah, and... but because the IV it the same way too. There's times where I'm like, God, why am I playing this card? It just. Hits, gets hit with a piece of removal every single yep. time but run. um there's just some cards that like even though that's the case like i just love running them because if you get it online oh it feels good and just having an unanswered savage vent ball with the access to six meta a turn just it's one of the it's huge it ramps you way out of control <laughs> yes. yeah it's just like all right hey anybody got an answer okay there we go here's your <laughs> answer Um, so what'd you find? Yeah. Stuff. Mind control. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad one. Vampiric too. I love that art too. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I need to pick that up. Let's forget about that. I gotta get a paper vampire tutor. I don't have one. I have three. I They weren't the cheapest as I recall. No, they've gone back up again. I picked them up when I was first getting into it, so they were significantly more affordable, which I guess like 20 bucks, I think they were 20 bucks per Canadian, so. Yeah, I think, because they were, it was in that, uh, what was it, the premium Graveborn set or something like that? Uh, no. I think. No, there was just Mirage and one of the core sets, I believe. You're thinking, oh, okay. in, you're thinking in Tomb. Oh, yep, yep, that, never mind. I'm thinking in Tomb. So, ha like, Mudsa, because you mainly have a lot of paper decks, like, how do you handle... You're like, do you have a section of cards that goes across many decks that you pull out of every single deck and put into this deck, or do you just have complete commander decks for every single one? I just, like, what's, I, your, what's your paper process? I, I have, if I don't have it in paper, like a separate copy of it, I, uh, I don't run it. So like, I have to, um, I won't like, like I don't, I have three guys cradle, so I won't move it around, kind of thing. So uh, okay. But it's just so like I'm, some decks have it and some won't. Exactly, but I'm just mostly fortunate okay. because I don't. I have. Um, uh, I have. Uh, I was able to get them when they were cheaper and more affordable. <laughs> okay, I don't want Eli swinging with that with lightning greaves. Yeah, that seems fair. That seems really fair. That would be deeply yeah. upsetting. Now you got removal. All right, I've had removal for a while. I just uh, haven't felt the need to use it until now. Yeah, I'd much rather see that destroyed than in someone else's side of the board. Yeah, that's what I figured. Dragon Lord is so good. Just that Timbo play, love mm -hmm. it. <clears throat> Anyone play All him right. as a commander? Uh, Liz, one of the uh, one of the the women I play with at uh, one of the shops here, has a Dragon Lord Silumgar deck, which is exclusively steel creatures, and like she runs oh, only. God. Silumgar is like the only creature, and everything else is like control magic, dance of the dead, animate dead, and like removal. It's awesome. Pretty pretty rough deck to play against. I just like it because it's as good as what you're playing against, basically. So if you're okay. playing against decks with like super abusive creatures, all of a sudden her deck is really good at playing abusive creatures. Nice. Yeah, I had the bad feeling of I played an Avacyn the other day, and then someone copied my Avacyn, mm -hmm. and that just felt miserable. Boots. Oh, hey, Boots. Where's that, uh, where's that Arcadia's coming? 
I think we're just gonna chill right now. We're gonna st we're gonna rebuild. Yeah, he needs to take a break. You know, he needs to take it easy. Chromium knows that it's important to have that rest period after a hard workout <laughs> of cycling. How much? Does, Wait, I don't even know how much he costs. Seven. Oh my gosh, okay, that's gross. Yeah, he costs seven. Why? But this cause. Yeah, I don't know. I wish the other dragons were seven sevens though, because hmm. they feel kind of wimpy as like four fours and yeah. even a six six just doesn't feel very like powerful dragony. Yeah, man. I'm, when they release Arcades, I was like, man, that is because there's times where I wonder, like, you know, the core sets they kind of drifted towards just nothing that wild, nothing that really sparked the imagination. Yeah. And then whenever they uh, they release Arcades, I was like, oh, okay. All right, so that's some fun uh, with that. I actually used to run into people that would play the old Arcades and would play the wall deck, just that you had to rely on getting all the pieces together. Yeah. Uh, ooh, that's a Rune Scar Demon. Uh -oh. That is Rune Scar Demon. I like Rune Scar Demon. I fail the search on this Mudster, please. I'll do my best. Much, much obliged if you do. <laughs> There's a strong chance I will misclick. <laughs> Just in case something happens to that that waste car, you should just grab like a third island. That'd be I, pretty you know, good. I grabbed a uh, lonely sandbar, which is actually worse than an island because it comes in tapped. <laughs> you didn't grab a board wipe, did you? I did not. No. Okay, good. I'm gonna hold you at your word. Okay. I. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Misclicking does seem something a demon would make you do. Yeah. Have you guys played, uh, was it the Liliana demon thing yet? No, Which one? but I, the contract? Liliana's oh. contract, yeah. I finally updated my decks for like M19, like yesterday. Okay. And um, I, I came across Liliana's contract. It's like, man, that makes me want to like, especially now that they unveiled a lot of the tutors in one versus one, it makes me really build like a demon deck. Mm. Yeah. And so, <laughs> I don't know, just it's fun. I've always enjoyed them. Feed the Rush? What the? That's not a great sign. Uh. Uh. We haven't seen any. Oh no. I hope you whiff. We haven't seen any removal from him, so this is. I'm really concerned. Yeah, he's playing all those spells. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 all permit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Hey, are you not running any PJ, instants or sorceries, PJ? Uh, PJ, what? I need you to stop. I need you to slow down. Um, PJ, 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 no. PJ, there's stop. I've stopped. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have families. We have people we care about. Man, come on. Now, if you actually, if you click on too many cards with Primal Surge, I heard that it, cla it crashes and it's yep. going to make you lose. So yep. <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's Horde? What is... Th what? I, hope you, I, hope you, bomb, I hope you deck out. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, well, yeah. You know what? I hope you're there, running uh, there we go. Disciple of Bolas. And you put it on the stack and you forget about Disciple of Bolas triggering and draw a bunch of cards. Good lord. <laughs> I don't even know uh, what's going on anymore. One. I saw someone draw a card. They they cast their commander after a primal surge with uh, Zendikar Resurgent down, which is not a May. And Good. they yeah. Some... yeah, um I think we're at the buffet right now and PJ is just he's grabbed everything out of the buffet. PJ, you can't you can't Up take two server. plates at the at the buffet. It's frowned upon. <laughs> you gotta take one and then you come back for some later. And he he looks butts in the eyes and grabs a third plate. Oh my God. He backs his truck up into the into the golden corral and starts throwing food into his pickup truck. Oh no. <laughs> I saw that primal surge go on the stack oh, and I gosh. look over at Budstead, there's no blue mana. No, I have, I, no have a, mana. I have a counter in my hand too. Yeah, you guys all passed out. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, perfect. <laughs> well, what, what did you search up with Runescar Demon? Budstead, that way we can imagine. Astral Slide. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to flicker Bruins Scar Demon a little bit. Had I known yeah, PJ was just gonna just gonna go ham on the buffet, I mean. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this, PJ? If you don't attack me and you send it all at mud stuff, I won't attack you next turn. Uh, I don't know if this deck works like that. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You should try it. You get you get one shot with this deck. That's all it really. Pretty does. much. Somebody quick! Target player draws two cards. <laughs> Gush. Esper Charm would do it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it takes it takes a minute to resolve all this. <laughs> Uh, all, all of a sudden, my, my heroic intervention doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I think you'd still die, though, wouldn't you? No, I mean, just earlier, just like Joel always has it. Hmm. Look at this uh, abomination. There's, the no, there's no Crater Hoof Behemoth, though. Uh, I am not running that one. No. So. I don't know... I actually don't know if I have enough damage to do this. We'll I, see. I don't know yeah, if it's this, lethal. Yeah. We're, we have... We'll see. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, we're not going to help you, so good luck, PJ. Oh, no. If someone had st can... if someone had strip mine, you could strip mine a land, and I think Gitrog would force him to draw a card. Yeah, Ooh. you have to. You have to. If someone had strip mine out, that would be... That would cause PJ to lose. <laughs> 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 that would be so good. Oh, oh there's nothing. Oh. And I thought about, well, it's not in the hand, but it would have been so nice to hit a force of will off of that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I used to run Primal Surge in my, like when I first got into Commander, I ran Primal Surge in my Omnath Mono Green deck. But it wasn't set up for Primal Surge. Oh. <laughs> so it, it was just one of those, like, I was like, whatever, it'd be fun. And, like, it, it was uh, it was a bummer running into Kodama's Reach, like, two cards in. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. That's super rude. Oh, you know what would be really fun, PJs? If you the elephants yourself? destroy some of your lands, that's going to give you a few extra creatures, and that might be enough to uh, to give you some good combat damage. Sounds good. You better better be careful with those scry triggers. They don't want to put the wrong card in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that'll give you some extra elephants, and that might be lethal. I think if I did the math in my head right. Um, because he's going to get to steal creatures from us. I don't think Eli has anything though, and yours are kind of useless. So he's gonna get the five five for, the five four from me. Wait, where's Gitrog? Gitrog is hidden somewhere deep, deep under these stacks. But you did see Gitrog, right? It's in it's, here. It's out there. It's on the field. It's off to the right. Yeah, he's he's like I think he's hiding. Just above the Eternal Witness, which is currently hidden under about a million triggers from PJ. <laughs> oh, why did I not draw Force of Will in my pull from tomorrow? We'll have to see how it goes. <laughs> Brutalizer. 44 minutes. That's not a bad game. No, it's not. Oh, like a little less. So I was just going to say, just reshuffle. See if we can do that again. <laughs> each player, okay, Fleshbag, each player sacks a creature, okay. Yes, sir. How do you know? You know, you must know Fleshbag Marauder. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's always 1v1. <laughs> I always forget, the, like, uh,. The, the effect like that it's not target player that's true it, that's true it's really good in multiplayer yeah one card for three is usually very nice fail to find fail to find fail to find <laughs> <laughs> at least you don't get a second runescar demon because it's still in the field before the marauder dies 
Yeah. Mm, I was going to take yours next turn. Why? I had just enough mana to hostage taker and cast it from exile. That's fine. Technically, do I still own it? I think it's technically my yeah it's the ownership of the card is still mine so if i were to astral slide it i'd still get it back uh yes i'm gonna sacrifice our keys i'm gonna somehow let the ruins guard demon go for some reason oh look at all these billions of triggers <laughs> oh yeah oh, he's pretty... got it that betrays and Mazarek. okay we're super dead Oh yeah, I forgot I put those in here. Yeah, we're we're mega dead. Oh yeah, as soon as that resolved, we were dead. As soon as Primal Surge resolved. I blame you, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope, do have four star villain here. I hope you crash the client with all these triggers, and then that counts as a uh, loss for that you. That is not out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> Ugh, great pact and dictate love. So many triggers. Yeah, just just a few. Just a few, yeah. Just a yeah, few. This takes a minute. <laughs> Poor Arcades. <laughs> and this is where I love visualizing magic. Is Arcades is out there and he's just staring down. <laughs> All these creatures, Atali, Naheb. Fertilizer. Uh, if only the harvester wasn't a Yume. God damn yeah, it. No. Yeah. Ho hold the wall, Arcades. Hold the wall. <laughs> Suddenly did not misclick when that, uh, when yeah. that comes up. Yeah. <laughs> I can clue. Arcades is safely back in the command zone now. There you go, buddy. <laughs> gotta, res gotta resolve that Dragon's Horde trigger. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's that's what's cinching the game for you there. I mean, this is this is neat to see. I like this. Yeah, Prim <laughs> primal surge. When you get it going, man, it, it it's pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, you have to build the deck around it in a very specific way, but yeah, yep. Probably should have. Actually, work out really well for it too. Yeah. I like. I really like uh, Mazarek. I think he's a a criminally underplayed commander. Or just a card yeah. in general. Yeah, it's a really good card. Someone sent me a Masaryk list that I've been wanting to play and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And it looks super sweet. It's just, it's, it, it's, and what's nice is, oh. Oh. Did you misclick? <laughs> Did you misclick? No, Arcades. Arcades is not a May. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I gotta get that pulled out, man. Oh my god. <laughs> so so what happened? Uh, Arcades died, and I got control of it, I think, with It That Betrays. Yeah. Uh, and somehow another creature with Defender came in, forcing me to draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! All right. That is incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> Dude, as soon as your screen blanked out, I was like, yes, let's go. Let's <laughs> this this is my favorite game of Magic oh. ever. Oh. Ever. <laughs> Bar none. And just imagine, like, we are these, like, these wizards sitting down to play Magic, and, like, PJ casts his beautiful spell, and then he just, like, his head blows up. <laughs> just, <laughs> he's just like, you know what? I'm done. Bye, guys. I gotta, I gotta go home. Look at is all this cool stuff. Is that May? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Arcadis is not a May ability. I love that. Enter the battlefield, draw a card. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it must on, as you were. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it's PK because. Bur yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because what? he pulled something. Yeah, you got a wall out of out of uh, Jolt's graveyard yeah, with Arcades out first, so you had to draw. Sunscape yeah. familiar. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, I oh. love that. That's Here I was crazy. thinking we had to be so clever with our own thing, and PJ PJ was his own foil. Nope, I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, 
I was looking at that stack. I was like, man, that's a lot of. It's like walking on the edge right there. PJ, you you won morally though. Like I I can see the victory to you. <laughs> oh man, it's a, it's okay, PJ, because I, I had a primal. I was playing Crash Primal Surge, and I drew out. And I didn't draw out all my deck. I had like ten cards left. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking you should splice those two to videos together, yours and PJ. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, uh, I cast. Uh, look at that. That spread. Oh, that's nasty. That's pretty um, nice. And so I cast Crater Hoof, and it gave everybody like plus forty or something like that. And I put um, Disciple of Bolus on the trigger after that. Okay. Oh, or, you drew yourself but, out. Yeah. Basically, I drew like forty cards, and I lost. Yeah. And I was like, dang it. It was one of those where my opponent didn't scoop. I was like, all right, let's get it done. Yep. <laughs> and then that's my opponent's like, ah, didn't do it. Okay, so we've got some some stuff we got to get going now. Oh, yeah, hope you guys have. Oh my gosh, that's what makes magic fun, though. <laughs> I wasn't even disappointed with the game ending, but now it's even better. I thought I had it. Like... You, you did, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but I think because you can't choose not to to get back Arcades, could you? Like you had to get it. Uh, yeah, uh, Joel, did you send Arcades to the graveyard? Well, it was weird because... No, because it that betrays when you sacrifice something, you get it. So it doesn't care if it went to the graveyard or not. It just cares that okay. it was sacrificed, I believe. Yeah, and it, it that betrays is not a May, so exactly. I had to take control of it. Exactly. And then it's a matter of if I stack the triggers... Uh, well, actually, I, I don't even know, because the trigger that... I don't know if I had a way to not do that because <clears throat> because of the way the triggers with the sacrifices and all that sort of yeah. stuff went on. I don't yeah. even know if I could have. It, it might have been there might that. have been a way with the res the resolution of it, but I don't think so. I think you were you were you were in trouble. Yeah, I, because I think what well, I think maybe if you'd put the sunscape well, if you put the Arcades trigger on the stack first, and then sunscape enters the battlefield, and then Arcades enters. I guess after Sunscape's already on the battlefield, there wouldn't be that draw trigger. Well, mm. the the thing that took uh, the thing that took Sunscape was already on the stack. Yeah. Okay. And I guess then it then it turns into uh, when the Grave Pack triggers resolve. Yeah. And when it that but well, I guess it that betrays would already be on the field. It so. was so confusing. There were so many yeah. stacks and so much. Yeah, the the that, stack was know. like six miles long. Yeah, exactly. There's a hundred <laughs> things on there. It's hard to. Uh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was wild. It is time to rebuild. I mean, yeah, that is straight up better than just winning with Primal Surge. Cause... <laughs> straight up good. losing with Primal Surge. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's the definition of better. Uh, it's certainly more fun. Yeah, it's yeah. Fun. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> it's a better story. Yeah. Arcades is mad. He's got every right to be. <laughs> yeah, because I, I didn't even think about that, but because the arcades went back to the command zone, I was worried about you gaining control of them. Mm -hmm. Not that it mattered; you had primal surge out there. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. All right, uh, Mudstone. Let's. Uh, let's have a pretty good little board thread out there. I'm gonna need to build like. I need to put one Eldrazi in here with the the shuffle mechanic. Yep. And a way to sacrifice it because. <laughs> oh man, just like I was, because I was watching your screen, I stood up to stretch for a second, and as soon as it just like blanked out, I was like, oh, oh, oh I don't know what happened. God, that feels good. <laughs> Astral slide. Yep. Who's got removal? <laughs> so whenever it cycles a card, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control, do the next step. Okay. It is crazy. <laughs> it is a crazy card demon. Yeah. Okay. At least it's the next in step and just not like instantly. Yeah, instantly would be a little bit too strong, but it's a good way to save my own stuff too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because you can cycle at instant speed. That's pretty, yeah, that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Uh oh. There we go.
You need to get that uh, Archfiend out of here, man. Well, I guess will slide the card you should be looking yeah. about more than anything. I'm going to get my defenders going with this. Minus one K. Yeah. Well, either way, it's not going to be good. <laughs> None of them are great. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, how do you want to die? <laughs> oh, that felt good. <laughs> so I bought a stand-up desk this past week, so that when I'm filming and editing, I actually oh, that's a good idea all the time. Uh, and now that that fiasco is over with, <laughs> we're setting everything back down for sit mode. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, time to sit down. Yep. <laughs> Why you do this? Yes, exile all the cycling cards. Could you? Please. Could you not? Oh, those are huh. pretty good ones. This is like creatures. You can't steal my other stuff. At least as long, least as, long as the Ashiok's still stealing it from you. Yeah, it's good. Some cards. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. You got it. I'm a kind overlord. <laughs> As you sit up there from your your uh, your uh, cycling, what is it? Your spin thing? My spin class. Your spin class. Yeah, must With be my, sitting on my brightly bicycle. colored spandex and my my high top sneakers. Oh, it's like uh, you're like the uh, the class, the the teacher of the class. Exactly. <laughs> Looking like chromium. A, Chromium's going to help like... you burn off the fat. <clears throat> I'll allow it. That'll work. So I just thought about the stack for a second. I think Jolt actually has control of the order that I gain creek that I gain control of the creatures. So if, depending on the order that Jolt sacrifices things, is the order that I gain control of them. Hmm. And. Ooh. So if he clicked that differently, but it makes most sense. Obviously, you'd sacrifice the Sunscape Familiar first. Yeah, right. Commander. You yeah, know, I mean, yeah, I time. anticipated that. Duh. Clearly, clearly <laughs> level, levels beyond our mortal comprehension <laughs> were at, at risk there, at, at play there. Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly why I did it. You're right, PJ. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as, I, as far as I can tell, the control was out of... The, the order of effects was out of my control based on that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was up to Jolt to... Uh... Obviously, he, he sequenced it perfectly based with yeah. making you lose in mind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so I was like, oh, I hope PJ does this because then I, I've got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> I'll get him through this complicated stack. I'll never see it coming. I'll, I'll wait till he plays Primal <laughs> Surge and catch him in his own hubris. Fell, fell to my. It's like it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh anime. You're like ah, you f my trap, me. <laughs> my trap card. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was actually good. I suppose to. Bad. It would be funny though, like if if Andrew well, had Esper Charm. Just I did something that I didn't want to do. <laughs> then, but like uh, like always, it helped. How do I feel about that? Uh, it's, 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 it's okay. It's nothing nothing to see here. I will not bounce it back to your hand if you untap that mana. <laughs> Uh-oh. <sighs> I'm going to untap the mana anyway. Oh, that is, oh, that is cheap. <laughs> like, there's much to on his, on his spin cycle. Just no. <laughs> Look, it's a circle, too. It's He's illustrating how the wheel turns. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And I love that that uh, Eli is getting some mana off Axbane Guardian too. <laughs> yeah, from your from your walls. Yeah, no. Uh oh, uh oh. Are we gonna see yeah. desertion of some kind? No. It's a lot of mana. Oh, it's gonna be pull from eternity for huge. Pull from tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I, I thought you had my back for a second. Okay. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Memory plunder <laughs> on primal surge. <laughs> pull from. Oh. 
So you've done it for 12 cards now? That's gross. How'd Good you get luck, back? Mudsta. Good oh, luck. Arcane Mancer, yeah. <laughs> Here we are just trying to play fair magic and, and Eli's just drawing a million cards. This is this is not fair. I, I totally yeah, showed up with an unfair on the deck. Field. Astral Side's a fair card. You, sh you, sh you shush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, PJ drew his whole deck. He did. And, yeah. and still lost. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I got I got poor man's Jace right here. You guys got to see my entire deck though, that's exciting. That works. Ooh, buying fish. I it's forget. always disappointing when you build something and people don't get to see like exactly. the cool part of the deck because it just doesn't show up. You get to see literally everything. Although at the same time, you also see nothing because the screen is just flooded with triggers. Yeah. All right. Well, I can't even swing. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Stupid propaganda. Why are you hitting on propaganda? Because I wanted to hit you for three, but then you even have the Archfiend out there, so I can't even do that. You can do whatever you want to do. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, okay. All right. Spin Master Mudsta. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, fudge. I pressed F6 on your turn. That was dumb. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Do it again. I dare you. <laughs> I bet you won't do it again. Oh, misclick and Mudstab both start with M. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm wearing I'm wearing my triggers. I miss them a lot T-shirt too, so it's it's pretty on par. <laughs> you got the you got the brand really strong there. Super. I'm I'm really people think that it's an act, but <laughs> I'm really just as bad. This has it, this has developed into an interesting board state. Hmm. It's just it's just art. It's just it's almost like turn one. It's just Archfiend and a bunch of dorks over there, except they're all on his side of the battlefield. Oh, this Astral Stride is very problematic. It no, is. it's not. Shh. Be happy with it. I do have. I think I have one answer for that. One. Yeah. That's, that's good. You're, you're bent. I know, but <laughs> you've seen my decks. I, I never. <laughs> <laughs> I never have answers for anything other than fun. Extreme fun for everybody, mainly me though. Only you. Arcadis <laughs> is weird because you really want a lot of walls in the deck, which eats up your slots for removal. Yeah. Yeah, and then plus I just I don't ever run artifact or enchantment removal. Just I need to. I find myself that. running more and more of it. Who plays that commander? Artifacts. I, and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I, I need to get more in there. I, I know it's like a year card. old, but Hour of Revelation is my new favorite card. Yep. Oh, that card is great. Kind of like, like fast food. Like, fast food tastes good. It's not good for you. But, like, I don't want to put vegetables and carrots in my dinner. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> give me some hamburgers. Yeah, only hamburgers. I want hamburgers, hamburgers in my hamburgers. Yeah, five hamburgers, and I'm going to put a hamburger in it, too. Why not? Uh, I just realized I should have swung it. Ashiok. Whoops. Whoops. But wall denial's out there. So. Regerts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're probably not getting through that. You don't know. My hand's like pure cycle cards, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's pure, it's just pure You get Black Blade Reforge which make everything huge. If only it were in the deck. <laughs> So I've got a fun video that I'm going to be releasing uh, also this week on Bay Victus with the Surge theme. Nice. Uh, that'll, that'll probably go up before the lounge episodes. So. <laughs> nice. So that way people will be excited to see. I can't wait to see this deck in action again. <laughs> yeah. And, and it will be in action. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the double-edged sword. I just love like 
it reminded me of like in a movie where the like the evil villain's giving his final speech before he kills everybody and like he just falls off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're all just like, all right, high five. I, I, I guess we go home. We're done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're done. There, go, there he goes. He, he fell down in the cliff. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, that's the other bolus. Seems oh, good. Wow. Yeah, because we can plus three on Astral Slide. That, yeah, that's a beautiful play. Oh, yes. <laughs> seems good. Seems good. It's very heads up play, Eli. Um, Quick, at instant speed, turn Astral Slide into a creature, then cycle something. So shout out to Giant Monster Games um, on that dick through time. He was in Dallas um, for work, and so we met up and played Commander at the local gaming store. And and that's a, it's actually on point with Nickel Bolas. Um, our, one of our opponents at the table, um, they had that Swarm Intelligence. And then they cast, I can't, well, I mean, they cast that Council's Dilemma card where you can either draw like four cards or take an extra turn. I and Yes, yes, and they cast that, so it was doubled. And so Mudsta, not Mudsta, but the Jack Monster gave him through Dig Through Time. He found, like, two counter spells to counter both of them, and it felt, oh, it felt so good. And that nice. Bolus player was so just, well, okay. Good yeah, game. double expropriate usually wins the game. Yeah, yeah, and so he's just like, well, I'll just dig for a little bit. Uh, I faced a girl at the shop who was playing a Tygam deck. And nice. yeah, just rebounded, expropriate, and the game's over. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, yeah. that's a card draw. Hold on. Card draw. Nope, oh, we got a stack going. Yep. That's not good. It's not even targeting our Arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about the Shroud ability. Yep. <laughs> Whoops. You okay? Yeah, I just pulled my head to it. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. So on this standing desk, PJ, are you happy with your purchase? Uh, yes and no. So I feel much better that, like, I'm standing part of the day. Like, my legs are feeling a lot stronger because I play a lot of softball. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's the thing that matters. Uh, the that's problem good. that I'm still trying to figure out is, like, now my wrists are kind of getting kinked. Uh -huh. um, from the, like, just the angle that the mouse and the keyboard are at. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, some things to kind of make that work a little better. Do you have a... Um... On your mouse pad, do you have one of those like little like wrist rests? No, I don't. That, that man, I, I got one of those for work, and it's really nice, man. Because yeah. my, my wrist started to hurt the way I had the angle on it, so that's yeah. definitely something you may want to try. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, I, got, I just got to figure it out. Like I'm because there's like two levels in this thing, so I'm trying to figure out which level is more comfortable to put everything on. But it, uh, I do feel a lot better in the sense that like I'm not sitting all day every day. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Do you work from home too? Uh, no, I work in an office, but like I okay. sit all day at the office, then I come home and like sit more and edit video and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I feel I, I understand. <laughs> I know what yeah. it's like. So you know, it's good for that. I come home and stand while I'm doing my editing and stuff. So yeah, thankfully at, at my work, I, I'm um, I'm very active. You know, I'm at my desk maybe like half the day, but I'm also running around checking stuff, and so it's always nice to have a little bit of. You know, some sort of activity, physical activity in your job worked into. Yeah, I can see exactly. we're just sitting down all day, which that would drive me nuts. Yeah, it's yeah. not good for you either. <laughs> yeah, I, like I get stir crazy after like two hours. I'm like starting to be oh, yeah. fidgety. Where'd you uh, get this ending desk from? Uh, I just ordered it on Amazon. I didn't spend a lot of time researching it. I just picked one that was highly rated and said, give me this now. Give it. So Overnight. It, it goes up and down <laughs> really easy? What's that? So it's adjustable. You can like raise it and lower it. Yeah, you can raise it and lower it. That's fairly easy. Yeah, it's really easy. There's just like two latches. You just 
kind of press on them and it'll you just yank it up. So. What you doing over there, Eli? Uh, exciting. So. One, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's an interesting card. I've been seeing that one show up a lot. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool card in the last game. Mm. At least I get back a bonded fetch at the end of the turn. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Still get a card draw though. Like that. Oh, sorry, my cat wanted in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> She was asleep, and then I just feel these two paws hit the side of my leg, like, hey, pick me up. So she's made it. Wait, how did that? Oh, never mind. Because I did it. It's, it's still the trigger. Yep, still the trigger. I got you. I mean, the funniest part is that that ability on Bolas was a plus ability, not a minus. Yeah, that, that's, that's always... Just seeing Nickel Balls hit the battlefield in any form or fashion. Yeah, even, that thing is... Like, when you get him to flip, that plus two, draw two cards, and it puts him at nine loyalty, I mean, that is like, you just don't come back from that. I mean, I mean, you can, but it's just really... The fact that it's just plus two and you're drawing cards is always just... Huge. It's really gnarly. Yep. Yeah, when your plus ability is doing good stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> Another land. <clears throat> oh, a little late to the party. Um, hmm. Oh, I've gotten enough. All right, let's do it. That's a lot of mana. Indeed. Well, Arcade, he's, he's really yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like an old man walking on there with this. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that is just absolutely beautiful. It's perfect. Well, I don't want to hold on to it. Uh... Yeah, we'll do that. No, we need. No, the things are not looking good. Well. No, I need to. Sorry, I'm, I'm giving some beautiful commentary. It is pretty scintillating. <laughs> On the edge of my seats. There's like one, one, oh, other than like, there's like two defenders that could have gotten. There we go, all right. And then, shroud. Well, can't do anything. Joel, do you run Brave the Sands? In here? Yeah. That's a good card. Um, it depends. If people are playing around it, yes. If they're worried about it, yes. But <laughs> if you were to look at my deck list, I, I can. I don't know if I can confirm it with an absolute certainty, but everybody should play around it. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> it's, a card that, it's a card that I really like, and I was trying to get it into the deck, but I think I ran out of room. But it seems like it'd just be really good that, you know, your walls can attack and defend at the same time. Oh, yeah. So. Let me see. So I just I get really hung up on just drawing cards. So that's kind of basically what the deck is. There's not really yeah. uh, a well. There is one win condition for the deck, but there's a lot of stuff you've got to do. Uh, Brave descent. Yep. Yeah, no a creature you can draw vigilance. Each creature you control can block an additional creature each combat. No, it is not in here. It might be though. Might not be. Just like the uh, the card Musta was asking about, Earth, mind cage card. It's 100 percent in here. <laughs> Yeah, the thing the only the only like solid winning condition for this deck is uh, Wall of Kelp and Intruder Alarm. And oh yeah, the combo. Bar. Yeah, that, that's it. Have you gotten that combo to work? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, there's a lot of moving pieces to it, but like if you, if you can get it online, it's it's kind of one of those things to where like you know I don't love playing a ton of combo and commander, but if you get to the point where you have Wall of Kelp on the battlefield, you have Axe Bank Guardian, you have Intruder Alarm. I mean, you're in a position that. 
there's like three moving pieces well, even arcady so you have like yeah four moving pieces so you deserve to win if you can win with four moving pieces on the battle yeah you got four pieces you need to wait for them to untap and that's yeah sort of stuff. but it feels good to get that wall of kelp going oh man that feels good i played it a couple times i wasn't able to get that combo going i think i had two pieces and uh couldn't get any farther than that yeah it's it's really it's more just kind of like a moral victory it just feels really good and plus, it's always funny seeing like a card like that spike. Let me see how much that is. Because I think I might have some of those. Yeah, they're like 12 bucks each. Or maybe even more. That's funny to think about. Yeah, it's, it's almost like 20 bucks. Holy crap, I have a wall of kelp somewhere. I'm going to go dig that out. <laughs> That's getting yeah. sold on eBay. Yeah, TCG, it's, it's got it listed at like, um, well, like heavily played, moderately played, near mint. It's like 15 bucks when you sell it, so... Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go sell that and turn that into an asceticism. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Seems not bad. But that's what makes magic fun, man. That's just like Wall of Kelp from however long ago is. It's Homelands, is it? Good. Yeah, I opened way too much Homelands as a kid. <laughs> Twenty dollar card now. Let's see. I'll give it a camp. Took of stuff. five years. <laughs> I'm glad that's not like the first ability twice. That's really good. I think that'd be a bit too impressive. Yeah. It would be very Nicol Bolas, though. Hmm. You just have to keep sacrificing, just under his pressure. Oh, there's that strip mine. <laughs> that also would have been fun with that strip no, mine. No, not my land tax. <laughs> I need those basics that I've run out of. <laughs> You're running seven basics? Uh, I ran, I think, four islands, three swamps, and four plains. Yes. But I was discarding a lot of them to uh, oh, yeah. end yeah. of turn and stuff like that. Yeah, when I, I've been trying to up my land count slightly if I'm running a three-color land tax deck. Yeah. Because I'm, I've definitely been, I've definitely run like eight in the past, and that is not enough. Yeah, that can be a bit problematic. Yeah. We're actually getting. Uh oh. Ooh, oh, that rune scar. Oh, do you have enough mana for that too? Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and enough mana to recast it. I love that. It's all good. It's all good. I'll be back in a minute. Yep. Okay. It's probably just going to flicker and get another tutor himself. <laughs> There's a chance. <laughs> There's a chance. We're fighting over a primeval thing. Exactly. You did exile my soul ring, so you must die. Then Ashiok's minus 10. Okay, that's not too bad. Mm. As far as the graveyard... If only you get Astral Slide out of the graveyard. I can. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can. Okay, keep that in mind. Search up that relic of virginitas. I don't got I don't got one of those. That I'm totally running in here. Hundred percent. Yes, go even lower. Good. Good. We, oh, there's no man to pay for that propaganda either. Propaganda is doing work. Mm -hmm, it is. It's putting in some work. Nothing to see here. This is just it's pretty arcades, good. Like some music.
Okay. Feel free to smash into Eli. Yeah. I too. Hey, I'm a pacifist. I haven't attacked anybody. <laughs> yeah. But you've stolen, though, so I don't feel like you're a true pacifist. Passive aggressive stealing. Okay, that's fine. I feel like I, I have to do this. Well, not have to, but. Wait for your craft? I was gonna get my life total down really low. Boo, boo, Brago. Card is vile. Card is vile. I like Brago. I'd like it if it was a, a two two with no flying. I I'll take the hit. You know, I'll take the hit for two. <laughs> or will I? Yeah. Or will you? Brago. Forgot about that flash. Dang it! <laughs> I'll take the hit. Nice. Uh, Got him. Thinking about all the fun stuff I was going to cast. The question <laughs> is: the question is, do I block? No, no. Because I mean, look how many planeswalkers are over there. My God, there's two of them. <laughs> two, two. A whole two. Like one, two. That's more than like. How does, what does Brogo do? Exile number of targets you control. Oh, okay, so you couldn't even bounce my. No, I'm sorry, Brogo. I'm just drawing a few. Oh, maybe you um, should back that back, Spin Master. Spin right. Master mode stuff. I think Brago. I don't know. He's leaving a bad taste in my mouth. I've, I've played a, a many a game against Brago where he does unfun yeah. things to me. Yeah, you just lose. <laughs> okay. Catch it up. Well, there we go. Let's kick it over there. Let's see. I, lo I love that it's like turn 11, finally getting seen Chromium hit the battlefield. Yep. All right on time. Six cards in here. So we've got nickel balls. Looking at I'm sitting at forty. Yeah, man, this is uh, this is gonna telegraph my hand super hard. But does anyone know how cycling works from the graveyard? What? Like, what do you mean? Let's say, for instance, there was a card in Magic that allowed people to play from their graveyard as though it were their hand. Okay. Would you Should. be able Should to cycle? cycle? Yeah. I would think so. I'm I'm looking. Was it a Crucible of Worlds or something? It is. It is a Yogmas will. Oh, that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I type in, "Can you cycle out of the graveyard?" And then the immediate post is, "Is it disrespectful to ride through a cemetery?" And it's just a bunch of bike forums. <laughs> what? Like, it's, like, <laughs> like actual like bike cycling in a graveyard. So. Uh, Sad news, he can't. Oh no. Well, it's worth it. Yeah, but you still got some good value in there. Oh no, that's your exile zone. Never mind. Um, There's just some good stuff. Yeah, man, you still got stuff in there. You Make got sure. land tax. You got arch fiend. That, you got time. Is it? <laughs> that was a mistake. You got rewild. Ooh, ooh, mudstone. I like this. So you can go arch fiend. Wait, no, you don't have enough for that. No. Um, you can cast land tax, and then in response, hold priority, cast rewind on land tax, and get to untap four lands. I like this line. In response, hybrid rapid your commander. Uh, that was a mistake. I goofed. I goofed. <laughs> this is why this is why people tune in for this high level magic it's play from everybody. Top peak. 
peak play. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. I had a whole other play that I could have done. Shoot. Can't wait to check it out. <laughs> you furthered science, so make sure to report your findings to the Is It League. <laughs> But to answer your question, Mudsta, um, people say as long as there's no like a procession or an actual funeral going on, you can cycle out of the grave. You can cycle in the graveyard. Good, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> in with the chromium. He's a biggie. It is nice that chromium can kind of keep Runescar Demon at bay too. And you all need you at full power. Mm. Yeah, that was a mistake. Go for Gate Creeper Vine. That would be pretty good. For that Elder trigger. Is that your oh, graveyard or any graveyard? Any. Oh, that is nasty. Yeah, next level play would have been that Gate Creeper, but. Let's <laughs> see, War Planeswalker? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I just now realized as soon as I saw Jace highlighted, oh, I was like, wow. <laughs> Rut Row. Not a bad little card. Yeah, especially if you can flicker it. Could be better. Back. Could be better. But not by much. Once you brainstorm, it's cool. I should have Googled whether I could cycle from the graveyard, but I had a feeling it wasn't going to work like that. Well, see, like. I would have thought that you could have. I would have too, because the plan was cycle uh, my two like Lonely Sandbar and Secluded Step, flicker my Runescar Demon and your whatchamacallit, kill Nicol Bolas. Pass. Like that was, that was the ideal play, basically. Okay, so somebody said you can cast cards from your graveyard with Moldra. This is a um, but you can't activate abilities that only function from hand. Yeah, I think that must be the problem, is so that, that it's like discard this card from my hand so I can't discard it so otherwise I guess it'd be too strong to be like you draw a card yeah. from your graveyard with no downside yeah that may, I guess that because yeah, they also say you know you can cast alternative casting costs like stuff like Muldrifter and Shriek Maul with the Evoke mm -hmm. but um, yeah it looks like uh, it's only something you can do from the hand well I'm sorry about stuff Spin Cycle Master I'm sorry oh that's all good yes 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 uh oh Yes. Rough. <laughs> yes. Getting the haterade today. Leave it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot of mana you got there. Uh oh. Oh. Oof. Do, 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 do. Dude. Yeah, I think that's game, and yeah, I had I had actually a pretty good answer to that had I not cast stupid Yogmas will an astral slide. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, but, from under the floorboards, so I could have discarded to Chromium, paid uh, I think it would have been like close to nine. nine, got nine two two zombies, gained nine life, been able to sack stuff to it. Mm. Because yeah, it's had, one, two, three. If you had mana nine. open, you mean? Well, basically, I would have, instead of casting the Ogmas Will, I would have just passed with my mana open. And the plan was at the end of Jolt's turn to discard from under the floorboards, pay for the madness cost, 
uh, get a bunch of zombies, that then untap on my turn and swing out and kill. But that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah, because I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, what I realize is it's tough with this card when people are like in the thirties still. Yeah. Uh, and I've had them kill me on the backswing. I'm still just like dead to an ancient tomb. Or at least when, uh, like, I lost to a combo deck as a result once. I could see their hand, and they had uh, leyline helm of the helm helm of obedience, mm -hmm. and yeah, that was that. Yeah, because even if I do that, and then we got like one scar demon swinging across. I mean, I guess stick around. It's actually the first time I've ever cast this card. It's good. I love it. <laughs> it's a fun card. Yeah, it is a pretty sweet card. So you can get like deserted temple going. Oh. Yeah. Like a cut and you just like help torment for like twenty five. I think 30. that's I think that's game though, isn't it? Because I I go down to twenty seven. You can still discard. Oh, you can oh. still swing it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, exactly. Yeah. Because either way, well, you're gonna earn. I could have discarded from under the floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, oh. madness! I love that grave crawlers in that art. That makes me happy. I think that me too. Grave crawler, it? Ah, whatever. We'll call him grave crawler. Yeah, that makes me happy. I like grave crawler. Okay. Yeah, he's like he's like one of the first cards I I, uh, I bought that was expensive after standard rotate. It was still a little expensive, but I remember thinking like I like zombies. Why not? I still have my dark ascension zombie deck. That was a fun time for Magic. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, there's like nothing to do with like old standard decks because I've got a few of them floating around. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Eli, the, and the, you know, to be perfectly honest, the, getting a Torment of Hellfire oh, screen um, in a Nickel Bolas deck, that is pretty flavor. That's it's pretty it's a flavor win, if anything. Flavor win, and then we got Hostage Taker coming over, just shanking me in the side for two. I forgot you could yeah. discard cards from hand. I would have done maybe would have done something differently that way. I gotta learn how to read cards. I think that's what what really boils down to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. That, that's me um, too, man. Me too. It's one of the good things in Magic is reading those cards. Reading cards is good. Yeah, I tried to keep the deck as blast flavored as I could without being yeah. too dorky. Yeah, yeah. No, that's. Uh, well, you got the on theme. Guy. You got the on theme lands. I mean, I you're know, you're winning. PJ, PJ bowls me. Stole my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I run ninth edition lands sometimes. I I wish uh, fifth edition of lands were online. I actually quite like them. Oh yeah, yeah. There's some cool ones in there. What can we do? I think Mirage also has some sweet lands. Oh my god! Again, oh, I've been stricken with the this stuff. stupidity. I could have done something else. My goodness. <laughs> I'm incredibly. Bad at this game. <laughs> yeah. Spend a little too much time on that cycling bike. Let's see. Gone to gone to my brain. That's a card. Ooh. I got scared when I started the stack. I was like, how much stuff is in the graveyard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but there's no good creatures. Like, all of all of Jolt stuff is defenders, which does hot <laughs> nothing oh. for me. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the fun things about Arcadia. Luckily, uh, Eli had, like, Axe Bane gone. You're cutting out there. It's yeah. just garbage, like you said. So at this point, I am basically. This bolus, does he just. Uh, no, no, no. Well, there's ways I could die still. There's also Ashiok, too. So he's at minus two. Yeah, the Ashiok minus two is going to be bad. But I don't think he's exiled any of my creatures. Because I don't really have That's... creatures. Yeah, but to say, I don't see that. 
Yeah, just more trying to get to... Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. More bullets action. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think that's I think that's game. Who, who thought that card was going to be good in standard? Because I did. So, I... so the fun thing, yeah, the, the fun thing with Ashiok and Nicol Bolas, when you get Nicol Bolas to flip, you go for the ultimate, exile mm -hmm. all but the bottom card, and you can use Ashiok's plus two ability to finish him <laughs> off. And that's some good magic. Feels good. That's backbreaking. One, two, three, four. You know what would have been fun? And we'll have to do this again is just everybody build like a Grixis Bolus. Like it's just Nickel Bolus versus Nickel Bolus. Nickel Bolus, Nickel Bolus, Nickel Bolus. Yeah. We'll have to do that for the next lounge sometime. Whatever sort okay. of powerful commander comes out, we'll all have to build it and see what we come up yeah. with. <laughs> I just want to do this for uh, how much is this? Three, seven, two, six. I mean, I think with with Nickel Bolas you win though. You just down tick by minus four. You kill my flyer and you swing in with Rune's Card Demon with the God Pharaoh. I could, but I decided to uh, just do it. <laughs> go Why go for go for the go for the flare away from now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no, my cards! My it. cards! I just, I just want to have all Nickel Bolses on the battlefield. Yeah, so the, I, I support this. I support Where's this. Where's the OG one, though? You're missing the OG one. He's yeah, like, hold on, then he's like, reanimate. <laughs> Bring him back out there. <laughs> I got this. Don't you worry. I got this. Don't worry. Yeah, I didn't play that one or the other one. What's the other one? Yeah, it's kind of unplayable. Uh, I can't that is really brutal off Nickel Bolas. So that minus four, seven damage to target opponent. That is exactly. and but it's not just an opponent. It's like their creature too. Yeah, a creature. Yeah, or, or a planeswalker. Plane. Yeah, just, that's a lot of versatility. It's just like a karate chop to the face. Big money? Nope. Cyclonic rift. <laughs> Drag this game out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, I had a mana drain in my hand anyway, so that would not have resolved. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, I, I had a feeling that there's something, some kind of shenanigan, and I was like, hmm, do I really want to cast Chromium into that? And the answer was no. <laughs> and I die. Oh, I forgot mana drains legal too. I need to start putting them. Decks mana drains there. super legal. Yeah, yeah. mana drains ridiculous. Well, I mean in in one v one too. Yep. Right. Oh, I thought they got rid of it in one v one. Take that. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice this island <laughs> and this Relicary Tower, this other island, and ancient tomb. And... Oh wait, no! I'm not gonna sacrifice Ikrin. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. <laughs> Pop the ancient tomb and go out. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm going out on my own. On my own gusto. I just go for the fold over here. Boom, nope. Whatever. You don't get. You don't get anything else out of me. <laughs> so we get the bowl the bowless farm takes it down oh that was a good game I enjoyed oh. it by everybody yes gg yeah i was gonna use the other ultimate nickel bowls to finish you up yep. nope so denied <laughs> you have no you get no fun <laughs> no fun <laughs> going for it okay some post-game commentary anything anybody wants to say reading is important <laughs> yes it is i killed myself <laughs> yes you did and it's also important, you know, it's always fun to draw cards, but if you're drawing cards and you don't really have a solid win condition, in my case, then you sometimes that doesn't really help. You don't so go anywhere. You just don't <laughs> go anywhere. But it's fun drawing cards, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, good game, Eli. That was, uh, I'd ask for your commentary, but we can look on the board and see. <laughs> well, I think having three nickel bowls on the board is, is, is commentary yeah. enough. Well, PJ won. I won the sub game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what matters, so 
But okay, I think that's going to wrap it up for the video. Um, if you want to attend one of Mutsta Cycling's classes, he's going to be doing live cycling on his channel. So if you get your own bike and you want to join along, go for that. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye.